Welcome to Learning Science Channel, a platform that provides educational videos of various concepts which will help learners in gaining and understanding different fields of science like biology, chemistry, earth science, and physics. If you are new to our channel, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you will be the first person to get notified every time we drop a brand new lesson. For today's video, we are going to study about heredity, inheritance and variation, plus the different genetic vocabulary words as your guide in studying genetics. Heredity is the transmission of genetic characters from parents to offspring. It is a natural process by which the sum of the characteristics and potentialities are genetically derived or pass from one generation to the next. Upon looking at the picture, you can see that the child has the characteristics of both parents, the eyes, nose, hair color, and the skin complexion was derived from her father, while the lips, freckles, and hair length was derived from her mother. Therefore, the sum of the genetic characteristics of the parents are passed to the child. Inheritance, on the other hand, is the acquisition or reception of genetic qualities of parents to offspring. In sexual reproduction, the genetic materials of two parents is combined and passed on to one individual. Although the offspring receives a combination of genetic material from the two parents, certain genes from each parent will dominate the expression of different traits. Looking back at this picture, the child inherited the characteristics of the nose, eyes, hair color, and skin complexion from her father, while she inherited the characteristics of the mother's lips, hair length, and freckles. Genetic variation refers to the differences between individual or to the differences between populations. It is a state of having different traits and characteristics. For example, some people are blue eyes, some are brown, while others have green eyes. It is due to the presence of differences in sequences of genes between individual organisms of a species. Here are some of the genetic terms for your genetic vocabulary enrichment. First is the phenotype. The term phenotype refers to the observable physical properties of an organism. This includes the organism's appearance, development, and behavior. Examples, pointed nose, blue eyes, straight hair. Those are some of the characteristics that we may observe in a human. Therefore, it is the phenotype. Genotype. A genotype is an organism's complete set of heritable genes or genes that can be passed down from parents to offspring. Genes are primarily represented by pair of letters. For examples, capital N, M is the genotype of a person with a pointed nose. Capital B, small b is the genotype of a person with a blue eyes while capital S, S, is the genotype of a person with a straight hair. Genotype can also refer to the two alleles inherited from a particular gene. But what are alleles? Alleles are any of the alternative forms of gene in a genotype. It is represented by a letter. Examples, capital N and N are the alleles for pointed nose. Capital B and small b are the alleles for blue eyes. Capital S and S are the alleles for straight hair. As you can observe, there are a capital and small letters representation. It is because some of the genetic characteristics are dominant while others are recessive. 
Dominant traits are inherited characteristics that appear in an offspring if it is contributed from a parent through a dominant allele. It is represented by a capital letter allele. For example, in this picture, you can see that the child inherited the eye color, the dimple, and the skin color of his mother. Therefore, those characteristics from the mother are dominant than the father. While the child inherited the broad lips and the curly golden hair from his father, therefore, those are the dominant characteristics he got from his father. To represent dominant traits, let us use capital BB for brown eyes, capital DD for dimple, and capital LL for broad lips, capital SS for brown skin. As you can see, the genes are written by capital letters to represent dominant traits. On the other hand, recessive traits are the weak, unexpressed trait of pair of alleles that has no effect in the phenotype of the heterozygous individual. Going back to this picture, the father's blue eyes, having no dimple, and his skin color are recessive traits since it is not expressed or observed in the appearance of the child. Same as the mother's lips and hair, which are not observable in the child. Therefore, those are recessive traits. Recessive traits are represented by small letter. For examples, blue eyes being a recessive trait can be represented by small BB. Having no dimple for small TD, small LL for thin lips, and small SS for white skin. As you can see, those recessive traits are represented by small letters. Here are some other examples of the dominant and recessive trait representations. Always remember that the dominant trait has capital letter, either both letters are capital or one is capital and the other pair letter is not capital, while recessive traits always have small letters. But why some traits have the same letter representations of being capital or small while some traits have the combination of both capital and small letter. Those are what we call homozygous and heterozygous traits. A homozygous trait is made up of two same alleles. Examples, capital AA, capital FF, small GG, and small II. A heterozygous trait is made up of two different alleles. Examples, capital A, small letter A, capital F, small f, capital G, small g, and capital I, small i. It is made up of combinations of letters of capital and small letters. In these examples, you can see homozygous dominant and heterozygous dominant, EE for the touch heirloom, while the homozygous recessive EE is having attached earlobes. To test if you learned something on this video, let us try to answer this one. In a family, the father has a tall height characteristics while the mother is short. The child possesses the height characteristics of the father. The mother's trait is an example of a blank. Is it A, a dominant trait? or a B, a recessive trait. Feel free to comment down below your answer and let us find out if it is correct. And that's it with our lesson for today. Do not forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. See you again on the next lesson.